Uh, hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Sorry, I got I'm a little late. I'm a little late. I'm like two minutes late because I uh, all heck broke loose at my job right now. It's uh, everything just went down for a minute there, but uh, it's not my problem anymore. It's not my problem. Ah, uh, Ed, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Ed. But before you go to sleep, welcome back to some more Master Duel Masochism. It has been about a week, and I remember getting super excited about getting this Jax Knight. Oh, I remember it. I remember it. I love this Jax Knight. Also, apparently, we have a place out of this card now, which is the best card, obviously. So good. Wait. Isn't this actually, like, not that bad? The Equip Monster gains 300 if the Equip Monster would be destroyed by battle. Return this card to the, its owner's hand instead. Then destroy one monster except the one that battled the Equip Monster. In, 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 uh, except for this part, it's pretty good. Have a fun stream. Thank you. I will. Oh, God. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Why did that sound like something was hacking me for a second? You know that like weird electrical interference sound they play when someone starts hacking you? That was weird. This actually seems to be a not bad card. I mean, this part's really bad for me. Summoning that 2500 2, on my opponent's side of the field is kind of meh. But the rest of this is pretty good. Like it saves my monster from being destroyed. It destroys one of their monsters except the one that battled. I mean, it's not bad. This only means I can't just play it on the same turn if I like send my own monster to get in there. Which is also an interesting idea. I don't know. It seems like a decent card. Might have to think about it. Because we do have some equip spell cards. Like, equip spell stuff we could do. And also, a lot of people were telling me to put this into the deck. Which, I think it's a good card. Don't get me wrong. Great effect. The only issue I have with it is that it's a 5 star, and it has no inherent special summon to it. So to get it out, I would have to like special summon this, or this, or some other card, and then tribute it for that card. Which... Isn't really... Isn't really... The best? I mean, it's not the worst. Don't get me wrong, but... I could definitely maybe get rid of like, Performa Pal. Because honestly, when was the last time I played Trishula? Honestly, when is the last time Trishula has been a decent card to even think about playing? And when is the last time I used Performa Pal to summon Starving Venom Fusion Dragon instead of just using one of my many Pareto Plan cards? I could just drop this and try Diabound Kernel out for now. So many people are telling me to play it, it makes me think I really should. Like, this card is really good. Don't get me wrong. Like, just looking at it, it, like, it saves itself. Which is really good. Like, if it gets targeted for an effect, you could quick effect, target an opponent's monster, and then save this card until your next standby phase, which is really powerful. So, it's got that. I mean, the minus attack isn't terrible either. I don't know. I just don't know if this is worth playing. Like, I don't know if it's fast enough. I'd have to, like, special summon this or this or something and then tribute for this? I'm just wondering when that tribute would be worth it over, like, some other card. Really want to play the Arcana joke extra Joker card there. Oh god, if I get King's Knight, I'm gonna make a, a warrior deck just for this card. Just for that card. It's gonna be a great warrior uh pen deck. It'll be the greatest warrior pendulum deck ever to be existing. And we have exactly one day to do this to get platinum. <laughs> we need four more wins for platinum five. Oh no. Are we gonna hit platinum this season? Who knows? Who knows? I need to start doing like two streams of this a week again to actually like see if I can get past platinum for once. For once. Do, 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 do. 
We need to destroy them though. Oh my God, is that a 60 card deck? Hello, sir? 60 card deck, 12 extra. Kith Klondike. <laughs> he shows up. He already showing up. <laughs> I mean, it's not a terrible hand to start with. Deck lockdown, we could just play Rocket Caliber as like a 1700 beater, have this in the back row in case this gets destroyed. Autonomous action unit, the best card in our deck, obviously. We could use this to grab one of his cards to ch God dang it! So that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count as a win. He, we didn't get to play a card. Uh, I really should get rid of that. I should get rid of that. I should just be like, if the game starts, it counts, even if they ch get, like quit right before we actually play a card. I feel like I would have like an extra 20 packs by now if I did that. No, probably way more than 20, right? Probably like way more than 20 packs by now. Uh, at least we get another win. We get the like the extra rewards and one more win to gold, I guess. Or two more. Three more? I don't even know. Is this happening again? Am I not going to be able to play again? No, 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 <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Set a card, I win. All right, now you could give up if you want. Now you're allowed. Give up. Fool. You know not what you do. Maybe you shouldn't have played this when I had Lightning Storm. Hmm. Hmm. This hand is like slightly worse than the other one. <laughs> I mean, it's slightly better. It would have been better going second with this and this. Okay, so I was gonna wonder if this said if a card you, like if your card is destroyed by battle or card effect. So I can't use this and then use this to destroy it and then summon Astrograph, sadly. It, it has to be a card I control. Ah, oh, for f sake. Is this the same guy? Wait, is this the same guy we just fought? No, he's got a 50 card deck. No, 51 card deck. 14 extra. The equipped monster gains zero attack when the equipped monster inflicts battle damage by your direct attack. Why would it even say it gains zero attack? Why not just say when the equipped monster inflicts battle damage? It's weird. Hmm. Is this not? I thought this was Exodia. Is this not Exodia? No, he might be playing like Reload here. I remember them. They don't really play original Bamboo Sword, right? They play like the other Bamboo Sword, I thought. Hmm. Battle phase? Okay, that's weird. What is this guy thinking? What's he trying to pull? So if I attack right now, it'll destroy my rocket caliber and then I get Astrograph Sorcerer, so I'm not feeling too bad. Or I can not summon Astrograph and then Lightning Storm his back row. Also a possibility. Hmm. Nah, it doesn't seem worth it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna get the extra damage in. <laughs> Sneaky. Gotta get that Astrograph Sorcerer. I mean, it's just too good. What? Wait, I actually... <laughs> Wait, is that the first time I've ever gotten that effect off? I think that's the first time I've ever gotten that effect from Astrograph Sorcerer off. That's really funny. Um, do I even play Rocket Caliber here? I wonder if it's even worth it. I mean, I kill him next turn with Rocket Caliber anyway, plus this, so I'm just gonna not play it. Keep it in my hand just in case. Probably a mistake, but who knows.
But it's going to be hard to die this turn with Threatening Roar and Ferret Flames. Unless he like Destiny boards me here. Which would be the best. I would love to get Destiny boarded right now. I want to make a Destiny board deck. Is that even a thing? Is that even like, can you even? I mean, if you can Exodia OTK, you could probably Destiny board OTK, right? The face downs. Do, 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 do. Uh, do I play Rocket Calibre here for the kill, or do I... G yeah, I mean, I gotta... I gotta threaten Lethal, right? There's no reason not to threaten Lethal. Even if he's got, like, a Mirror Force down there. I should still threaten Lethal. For sure. Mm, well, that doesn't change anything, right? Yeah, I still threaten Lethal here. If it's a mirror force, I'm gonna cry, but if it's nothing, we get a win! Okay, that guy just didn't have any cards. <laughs> Is this the legendary Brick Eyes or Brick Magician? No, there's no way. Blue, uh, dark, dark Magician never bricks. That is a fact of life. Dark Magician never bricks. You see, they were different people. What deck were you playing? You were probably playing, what the hell is this crap? Um, so is this, is this literally just like a give up deck? Like you just go into the game and you give up if you don't get like the exact perfect cards you need? I don't understand that. What were you playing? Okay, this was also just like a hodgepodge deck. They were all playing nothing. I don't understand it. I'm jealous of your Dragon's Mirror though. I would love a Dragon's Mirror. I would love a Dragon's Mirror in this deck. You guys don't understand. I would love a Dragon's Mirror. Because I could just Trish whenever I want. Would I have to use Dragons for Dragon's Mirror? I forget. I think it's just to summon a Dragon Fusion, right? You don't have to use Dragons to use it? Oh no, I think you do. You got, I mean, it would make more sense. Right? Would you not? Maybe. No, 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 because then you wouldn't be able to use it to summon like Blue Eyes Master, the, the Black Luster Soldier Blue Eyes cards. And I think you can with that, so. Yeah, I think you're, I think it, I could just use it to summon Trish whenever I wanted, which would be insanely good. Mm, do I team a ton this line? Ooh, that's a question. That's a good question. Do I Tiamaton this line? I could set Soul Drain, which isn't really the best card. I mean, first of all, I got an Ogre. If he has a response here, I'm not going to Tiamaton this, probably, because I couldn't. <laughs> no, do I set Soul Drain here? I'm going to do it. He's got nothing? He's got nothing? That's fine. I'll give him the one card there. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, he can still chain this, though. What's he got? Arcana. I love the name. Love the name. Love the character. Wait, do I? Wait, I can activate this on my own card effect? It doesn't negate, right? Oh, now he can't negate this effect. He has to negate Ogre. What is this? What the hell? These cards come from your deck and graveyard, but only one can come from each. Oh, interesting. Huh. It's a ninja deck. Ooh, 2,900. Well, that's just rude. Okay, we want him to have all these cards, actually. All these are great for us. I don't like this card. Um... I don't like these. I don't want to give him two. 
All right, what did he get there? Uh, Tabori. I mean, we don't even break our Bunkle here, right? I don't want to give him another card, but we can't hit over this is an issue. So we just can't do anything? I guess I could set Ferret Flames here. Autonomous Action Unit does nothing for me. I should hit it though, right? Just to get it from defense mode. God, why did I have to have 2900 defense? That's so rude. Uh, you can target if this card is normal or flip face up. You can target up to two, change them to face down eventually. If you do any opponent's monsters that were flipped by this effect, cannot change the battle positions. Wow! If a monster in the field is flip face up while this monster is face up on the field, you can target one card, destroy. You can only use effective. Hmm. So these two cards are screwed, is basically what I'm seeing here. Can Trish? Trish can't even get over this. It's a 2900, right? 2700. Jesus. Uh, yeah, this is brutal. And this can't hit over it. Because it only makes the attack zero. Alright, whatever. I'm going to lose to ninjas again. This is a fun game. Right, yeah, the effect activates. He flips these over. And they cannot be flipped again. Which is really weird really weird thing like it's in like ever or is it as long as this cards on the field i got no clue but i'm kind of screwed here <laughs> i'm kind of screwed Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not good. I thought I got rid of this card. Oh no, I got rid of the other card. I should have gotten rid of this card. I 100% should have gotten rid of this card. <laughs> this is fucked up. This is the fucked up card. Holy crap. He could just summon a million cards for free because of this card that he summoned for free. Wild. And he gets that card back. Wow. That's fucked up. All right, what do you fuckers do? And it's gone from the field, but I still can't flip these up. Thank God, that's a fun mechanic. I love that for me. I love that for me. It must be switch to summon. Okay, you can I be sure about battle or card effect? The turn must switch summon or flip face up. Okay, fuck you. Uh, you take one face down. Fuck you. All right, this sucks. <laughs> Give me this card. What does he have? Does he have another maxi? Hmm. Ooh. When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can target one face down defense position once you control. Change the face up defense position. If you do change this card to face down position, then if the targeted monster was a ninja monster, negate the opponent's activated effect. So I definitely don't want to do that, right? Right? Wait, what did he even- is it, does it not tell me what he special summoned in face down defense position? That doesn't seem right. Right? That does not seem right. It should tell me. I feel like they should tell me. So all that would do... Would flip this face up. I think I should activate it then. Let's activate it.
Yeah, so he's definitely going to do that now. That's fine. Oh, hey! Perfect! What card do I destroy? Oh! Wait, does this negate too? Wait, that's actually like such a goaded ability. <laughs> that's actually so good! Oh, what the? Oh, what is this crap? Oh, what is this crap? What is this crap? What is this? Oh my god, what is this? Why is everything a quick effect with these guys? Okay, at least I'll destroy these two cards, right? It's gonna have Mizen, which is kind of fine. Wait, it didn't even destroy this card. Interesting. Is it because it was set again? That's fine. This thing, I'm not too worried about this thing. While you control a face down defense wizard monster, opponent monsters cannot target this card for attacks. That's fine. What if I Trish right now? Wait, is Trish the way? I could get rid of all my cards. I could Trish. Beat over this. Attack this with Appliancer. And then I'll have Ring of Destruction set for anything else he summons. Is that the way? Is that the way? Is Trish the actual way here? Or do I keep this card? Which is incredibly good for me still. I think I might just keep Geo. Geo just seems really good. This card can't do anything. I might just Appliancer, Breaker Bunkle, attack directly, and then kill this with the Ring of Destruction. I don't think I need to kill this card right now. It doesn't really do anything for him. Like, he can attack directly? whoop de frickin' do and This card can't change, right? I oh, know it can. It can because... Actually, oh, this card can... Go back up because this card didn't flip it face down from its effect. Ah, heck. That may have been a misplay then. Because now this thing is alive again. Or whatever the other one is. I don't know another one of these heckers. All right. I ain't too worried. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. What the hell is this crap? The ninja monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can banish one ninja monster from your... Uh, can only be used once per turn though. Ah, uh, that's a pain. Fine, this doesn't destroy, so Ferret Flames is still good here. What monster did he set? Tobari. Heck, Tobari. God damn it. <laughs> what is this crap? That's really bad for me. Oh, that's really bad for me. Yagaram Yagaramaru. No. Man, I really love how he could do all this stuff with like singular cards. Like this card just gives him so much extra value. Like this card's insane. I wish I had this card. <laughs> no. Wait, that's actually good. All right. Um, I'll activate this now. Might as well. Of course, he's going to banish to stop it. That's fine. And now he special summons. Wait, now he can't stop it, though, with this. Because he broke the chain. 
Huh. Or can he? I don't know. Or does it activate on destruction? Oh, so now it activates. Okay, that's fair. I think that's how chains work, but whatever. So he doesn't even lose the HP. Dang it. Just got this stupid card. Why are ninjas such a pain? When did ninjas become such a pain? Like, I feel like they're not like too bad, but they are very annoying. <laughs> Like he still has five cards in his hand. Like this, 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 this amount of hand control is ridiculous. This amount of value. Mm, it's fine. Oh, he's going to destroy more of my cards. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's fun and free. Oh, that's fun for me. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's so fun. Just yeah, have a free card to destroy. Yeah, destroy my other back row. Destroy my ferret flames. I didn't want it anyways. When did this card? Oh, he's going to destroy that card. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. It's kind of fine, though. I mean, he can attack directly here. That's also fine. Ah, oh, heck. Well, that's fine, too. Maybe he doesn't read. Maybe he doesn't read that it's a once per turn thing. Maybe he's really dumbo here. What? I should have saved that card. No, I couldn't have saved it because he destroyed it. I could have saved it because it destroyed it. I guess I could save it for this turn. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. You love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. He just didn't know. Oh, what is this crap? You're not allowed to set more cards, Mr. Five Cards in Hand. Ooh, that's a really good card. Too bad I can't flip any of these cards over still. It would be a real shame if I just, you know, had cards to play. You can special summon here, right? A little bit unfortunate, but kind of have to do it. It's fine. Really hate how he destroyed that. Honestly, I think I may have wanted to keep this over Ferret Flames. Oh, this fucker. I hate this fucking card. <laughs> I hate this fucking Tobari bullshit. This card needs to be limited. Oh, that's fun. He just like added it back. All right. Um, I guess we'll hit with this first. No, I can't. Oh, I just straight up can't, huh? Because he's got a face down card. I just straight up can't target with it. Okay, that's fine. I lower your attack. That's not what I meant to. Why? That's not what I meant to press. I swear to God, I thought it was activating Predator Plant there. Why would you even? Oh my God. Well, that's game over for me. That's like my one comeback card just gone down the drain because of a misclick. I thought it was activating Predator Plant's effect there. Why would it even activate? Okay, whatever. Oh, and then he just has a negate for that anyways. That's fun. I was gonna lose anyways. I think I should just give up here. <laughs> I think I should just give up here. Yeah, this fucking sucks. Um, I got nothing. I got nothing. That's fine. <sighs> ninjas, man. I think ninjas, I just, they just have too much value. It's almost impossible. I need to literally kill them in like a single turn. I need to get like such a good starting hand. I could just like pummel them in a single turn. Or else I just can't win over their stupid value. They get so many free cards. That's kind of like most decks. Most decks are kind of like, I have to get that perfect starting hand against them or they just have way too much value.
There's too many cards in the game that are just like, oh, add two cards to your hand. Not Pot of Greed, though. That's banned for some reason. But that ninja card where you could special summon a card and also place a spell face down in your field, that's completely fine. <laughs> oh, Beastia Lubia. Completely fine card. Not even limited. Pot of Greed, though. <laughs> Ban that card. Ban it. It's too powerful. Draw two? Way too good. Every deck would run it. Like, every deck runs max C. Hmm. If a card is 100% in every deck, they can't even, like... Isn't it maxi, like, 99.9% .9 like, in every deck? They can't even say Pot of Greed shouldn't be unbanned at this point. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. I thought one of these bestials was, like, limited. Oh, the double up. It's right there. All right. I don't even remember what these guys do. <laughs> I guess I just a pine breaker here. Even if this one dies, I'm fine. Yeah, okay, this will be fine. Let me fight. Let me fight. What is this card? Target one dragon you control and one card your opponent controls or in their graveyard, return them to the hand. Wow. That's toxic. <laughs> That's so toxic. I mean, I have the second one, so I'm not like too bad. I'm not too bad. So toxic. So toxic. So toxic. Why would you have this card? So toxic, man. So toxic. If it was a destruction card, I could have at least kept it on the field. Sheesh. That's fine. I have Serac or Serac, Seracin, Seracin, Serac, Seracnia. What the actual? What? Wait, but why? But why though? But why? There's no way he has an appliance, all right? If this guy plays an appliance right now, I will pog out of control. No, oh, he's going for a rocket link. Never mind. Not pogging. Zero pogs. Oh. Why did my VTube studio die? Hello? VTube? 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 There you go. You're back. Oh, that's a zero pog move, my guy. Zero pog move. Man, I want these cards. I could actually run a chaos deck if I had some beast shields. Hmm. I mean, do I play this card? Do I destroy this card? Or do I destroy Beast Shield? I mean, I think I destroy this card because this card would be able to summon this for free. I think I'll destroy this card. Mostly because I don't want Dark here to get like a free summon off me for more links. And I'm not too worried about Bestial here. But he will be able to add a card, right? Yeah. That's unfortunate. But it's fine. It's fine. So this is like straight up with just like rocket whatevers. Which is quite interesting. Uh, do I get Flytrap here? Flytrap doesn't help me as much because I do have Breaker Bunkle. So I don't want a Chlamydia. Hit me. Hit me with the 2500, you know, for the ferret flames. For the ferret flames. See, I don't. I. I Diabound is just a little too difficult to play. 
I tribute some and it's just so painful. What does he have? I mean, if he had Max C, he would have played it already, right? This thing doesn't have an effect. There's no way it's effect Valor. <laughs> That'd be wild if it was effect Valor. That'd be really funny. Okay, now he gets a branded card, right? That's fine. No branded card. Interesting. So he's not playing any branded fusions. So this is like a pure like dra like a dragon link deck, right? Like a weird rocket deck. Hmm. Hmm. This guy's playing on that McDonald's Wi-Fi. How many beast deals do you got, boy? How many beast deals you got? That's why these should be limited to one. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Why you control two or more light or dark dragon monsters? When your main page, you can make all monsters cry until the end of the turn. Whoa! Oh, this man's going for the. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we about to see the triple level 8 XEs? That'd be kind of hype. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but it would be super hype. I kind of want to see it. I don't want to see it though. Right? Ah, boo! Boo! He's going for links like a lame -o. Oh no. Oh, a synchro. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take the synchro. Oh, you can talk about the field. Banish it. Ooh, that's really bad for me. Because this doesn't stop banishing, only destruction. That's really freaking bad. It's really. Freaking bad, man. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Super, 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 super unfortunate. But what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, I could do that, but I'm not. I don't like how this card's not in attack mode. But also now he can't kill me this turn, which is weird he didn't put this on attack mode. Or does it, oh no, it's special summons in defense. Alright, well now I could Barret Flames it away, but is there a reason to do that? Can I be destroyed by battle? Interesting. Hmm. Huh. I, mean, I might as well do this, right? I think I just set snow. Yeah. Oh, I should have set it there. Misplay. Misplay, because then if he summons a monster or puts a spell or trap card there, I could do Teamathon. Misplay. Or I could have even put it there in case he plays a spell there. But then if I played it there, I couldn't destroy this line anyways, so I should have put it here. Diabound Colonel. Oh no, not the Dragon Shrine. Okay, Dragon Shrine's a bit of a pain, but... What the hell? Oh, he's gonna summon this. Oh, it's a quick effect? No, it's not a quick effect. 
Hmm. Is this the limited one? No. Okay, so he did do that. Which is definitely a play. Okay. Now he's gonna bestial Saronir by banishing my monster. Well, that's just cruel. That's just unneeded. Unnecessary, I do gotta say. I wanna see if he does anything. If he goes to battle phase, I will just activate fairy flames, obviously. I mean, do I die a bound kernel over this? If I get no other good, like, normal summon, I feel like I should. I never expect the ferret flames. They just never, they just never get it. They just never get it. They just, they simply do not understand. You know what? I forgot. It's time to do it. Do 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 do. Ooh, uh, I can play it. I can barely play it. Is it worth it to play this? Uh, if I could summon Dark to this, can I do that? I'm playing it. Oh, I just summoned this card. What am I saying? Is that lethal? 3,500. So that's 35, that's 5350. Oh my God, it's not lethal. All right, I am gonna trade. Oh, wait, is it lethal? Cause I could just summon snow, right? Oh my God, this is lethal. Oh, beautiful game, beautiful game. Kill, 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 kill. They never expect the snow lethal. Oh my God, it all. You know, see when they don't have infinite card advantage on me, I can actually do things. Sorry, sorry, Diabound Colonel, get out of here. I'm too good at this game. I'm too good at this game. No one can match me for how good at this game. I'm obviously, obviously the best. I would rule Duelist Kingdom with an iron fist with my flame champion. Oh, okay, first pack. First pack pull of the day. Wait, is that my only win so far? I thought I won two. Did I not pull a pack for this? This went on five turns and I won. <laughs> Did I forget? Did I forget to pull a pack for this? I think I forgot to pull a pack, right? Oh no. Oh no, I'm losing it. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Wait, let me double check that I did not pull a pack. Cause, Cause I have to say, that's my first win because I haven't pulled a pack today. No, I just forgot. Huh. Well, you win some, you, <laughs> you forget some. Uh, all right, give me one, one second. I got to do one little thing real quick. That's done and over with. All right, we get two packs, apparently. I can't believe I just forgot to pull a pack. That's not like me. I think I might actually be losing my mind. All right, Stardust Wish. Man, if only, if only I had a Stardust, Stardust Dragon. Like, I would play that. Like, Stardust Dragon's not the best card nowadays, but I love it. I, I love it. I would play that. I'd play, like, most. I'd play, like, Red Dragon. I would play Stardust Dragon. I'd play Red the rose dragon uh i don't i mean I, I would probably play ancient fairy dragon to be fair i don't think i would play power tool dragon unless i played like a lot of equip spells and i obviously wouldn't play black 
wing dragon without black wing cards. I would play most of like the main ones. Oh, hey, this is actually not bad. I mean, it's not great. Ooh, hey, it's a warrior. It's a warrior pen card, except it's terrible. It's a terrible pen card. Can only do Teller and Zephra. Ugh. Oh, another Valkyrie card. Another Galaxy Cleric. I think that might be my third. Another of these that I can't play. Reptilian Servant, which isn't great for me. Armored Cyburn. I feel like I've had this card before. What if I had a different Cyburn card? It's funny I have all these. I have all of these Cyber Dragon cards, but no actual Cyber Dragons. Dark Renewal. When you're putting normal monsters on one spellcaster, send both of you over, then you can switch one. Oh, this is really good for my terrible spellcaster deck. For that terrible spellcaster deck that wanted to use magicalized fusion to get out the uh, Quintent Magician. This is going to be really good when I eventually get that. <laughs> when I eventually can pull that off. You got to love the spellcaster support. My spellcaster pens, man. It's going to happen one day. Another Bujin card. Another... I was going to say Gem Knight card, but no. This is actually a Crystal Beast card. We got wild, wild card thing. Another Math Mech. Ooh! Ooh -hoo -hoo. This is actually a good card. When you activate a trap card while you control no monster, you can special this card from your hand. One Cyframe Driver. Don't we have a Cyframe Driver? Or Grave, and if you do negate the activation... Um, you can switch something about this card from your hand and one side right from your hand deck or graveyard if you do negate that activation and if you do destroy that trap card. That's really good. Actually, that's really good. Wait, that's really good. Oh, if we have a sign frame driver, do we play this? I'll have to think about it if we have it. I think we might. This is really good. Oh, hey, Earthbound Immortal. Earthbound Immortal, my beloved! We actually have a few Earthbound Immortals, so that's really fun. Another Super Heavy Sand. In Mad Mauler. <gasps> wait, this is the Plague Spreader Zombie Guy! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't we have Plague Spreader Zombie Synchro cards? Turn this card for... Uh... This card is in your graveyard. You could do, 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 and it cannot be special summoned. Special this card. Also, the player's special cannot spend it except zombies while this card is face up in the monster zone. Huh. That actually might be a really good card. Because we have a few Plague Spreader zombie cards. I don't think we have the really good ones, but we have a few of the synchros. Hmm. Go good old Jigen Bakudan. Hmm. <laughs> That's actually not a bad card. You know, this might seem too specific. It actually might be too specific. I was thinking about it. This actually might be too specific. Because most, most, most. Negates these days aren't negating a summon. They're negating an effect and destroying the card instead of just negating this a monster summon. So that's actually really unfortunate. Yeah, the card's kind of useless now that I think about it. Ooh, another perform mage card. Meh. Another gear gear card. It's like a worse Stratos. Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> hey! Gemini Spike. Wow. What a what a card. What a mm, mm, mm. This is definitely the SR card I wanted. Yes. Gemini Spark. <laughs> If 
if we actually had Crash Bug Y and Crash Bug X, this actually might be not be bad. This actually wouldn't be the worst card because we could use it for level three C like XZs and then also like fusions and blinks. Oh my god, Chithonian Polymer. I'm pretty sure the only time this was ever played was in the anime in like the GX era. I'm pretty sure that was played. I think, I think, don't quote me on this. I think Chaz Princeton used that card. It seems like a card he would use. All right, do we have... No, we don't. We don't have a driver. Aww. No drivers? That's unfortunate. We do have some Earthbound Immortals. We do have the best one, Monkey. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of this card because I actually own this card in real life. But I'm pretty sure this one is the best one, or something. I don't know. What, or this one. I'm pretty sure like specifically one of them is. All right, is this worth playing? Oh, we also have this card. Okay, this card's not nearly as good as the other one. Mad Mauler, Special Summon. I thought we had Doom Kaiser. Did we not have Doom Kaiser? I could have sworn we had Doom Kaiser Dragon. Huh. I mean, this, I can't really summon this. I don't play zombie monsters. Hmm. I could have sworn we had Doom Kaiser. How do you spell plague? That's G U E. I thought we had Doom Kaiser. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I wouldn't have minded Doom Kaiser. It also needs a zombie monster, though. Everyone needs zombies. Yeah, that's not really. I mean, honestly, none of these are great. Yeah, I don't think like any of these are really worth playing. We don't really have any good zombie synchros. If I could find them. Yeah, we do have this card. Ultra one Suchi Gumo, the poisonous Mayakashi. You can only use each of these effects. Okay, it's not really great. It's not terrible. If it was a tuner card, it would be really interesting, but yeah, not really, not really, not really worth it. The crash bugs actually aren't worth it. I thought these were a little better, but they're really not. Man, I just want King's Knight. Oh, this is the one. We got Attachment Cybern. I was like, I thought we had three Armored Cybern. No, we had three Attachment Cybern. <laughs> and then we have this and this. But now, Cyber Dragons. Yeah, nothing really worth it. You're not even warriors. Valkyrie should definitely have been warriors. Dang it. Oh well. Vim's the breaks. So you get nothing good for like 50 packs. Your deck hasn't changed in like three months. But you keep on struggling. Oh, almost back to plat. Let's go. Oof. I love this guy. Let's see if we can't pull off this one. Ooh. Okay. I mean, That's not a bad start.
Not the worst start I've ever had. We can immediately go into Starving Venom after this if he doesn't kill Bezel. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is the one that's limited to one. Well, this will be fun. So he's going to break Bezel, but at least I can get Frawline here. And he's going to destroy it anyways. I might as well summon Frawline, right? Makes more sense, too. He doesn't kill. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, he's because he's going for it. Because <laughs> he's going for it. Was that a red resonator or a crimson resonator? Imagine if I started with deck lockdown. This guy would have actually just lost. This guy would have lost first turn if I had deck lockdown. God dang it. Should have deck lockdown this man. Oh my god. The Witch of the Black Forest! Love it. Oh, that's fine, actually. That's actually fine. He can banish. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna get rid of Kaiser Coliseum, which is actually really fine with me. Did he normal summon this turn? He did normal summon, so we're actually in a really good position here. Right? We're actually in an incredibly good position here. Which is weird. Which is really weird. But hey, I'm not complaining. All right, first things first, attack position. Flip summon. Clammy boy. We obviously activate his effect. We go into Starving Venom here. Boom, boom, boom. We gain your attack. We gain your effect. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, that's fine. So I need to do 20 something hundred. I should just do 3000 for the fun of it. Obviously for the fun of it. What, what does this man have? I really should have played deck lockdown. I'm really scared at what this man has. The only reason I played this card is because this card literally says monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, which is kind of not what I want. Uh, if I do 3,000 here, I'll do 800. So it's not even lethal, so there's no reason to do 3,000. So I could just do 2,300 here, just in case. That would get me one over. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, nice quick effect. God dang it. Stupid bestial Druus worm. Oh my god, he's banishing my cards. He really should have banished the other guy. I don't know what he's doing. What? Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, that's just straight up bullshit. 
That's some bull. That's some baloney. That's straight malarkey. What? Ah oh, man, I really should have read that. <laughs> I really should have read that card. Oh, I should have. I should have read it. Should have read it. Should have. Should have read it. Should have attacked with that card first. I guess. I was really not. Ex I should have. Oh man, I forgot how dumb beast shield cards are. This only solves special summoning from the main deck. Oh, for f fuck's sake. Well, that's that's some shit. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. And then he activates the effect, destroy my card. Oh, I love this video game. What? He can't do that. Oh, to the hand? Oh, wow. This actually... Deck Lockdown does not lock down the deck at all. That's... Yeah, that's... Huh. Wow. Wow. Deck Lockdown does not lock down the deck at all. Man, he just had to have this motherfucker right in his hand, right? He just had to have a Rocket Synchron in his hand. Oh, my God. This guy's the worst. You're the worst. All right, perfect draw right here. I mean, not bad, not great. But not the worst card I've ever had. Oh, wow, he can do that during my turn too? That's fun. I love that for me. I love that for me. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's so interactive. And swingy. Yeah, I think I just lose, right? I mean, I just straight up lose, right? Yep. Yep. Deck lockdown, you suck. He don't lock down the deck at all! He didn't lock down nothing! He still added a card straight from his deck to his freaking field! Damn, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> this is truly the card I wanted. <laughs> this is truly the truly. You know what? <laughs> Fuck your resonators. Get him out of here. This is fine. This is fine. He's gonna draw absolute garbage. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. He's 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 running out of gas. He used all his beast shield cards. Ah, uh, never mind. And that's GG's. God dang it. He got he got lucky. He got lucky. I would have won that duel. For sure. 100% of the time, that was my duel to win. And he cheated. He cheated. God dang it. He just... If he didn't have that rocket synchron, I wouldn't have lost like three cards there. <laughs> Alright, respect the toad. The toad with the orange on it is so powerful. God, what could I have even done there? Draw better? <laughs> uh, I guess not attack that one card, but then he could have just beast your Lubyond anyways, and then he would have... It didn't even destroy my card. The wording says send it to the graveyard, so it, my heckin' guy wouldn't have even activated his effect. Why are fusions on the bottom? Yeah, because it wouldn't even be destroyed. What the fuck? Oh, is this Banish OTK? No. Huh. This is Excess Sisters. Wild. Wild. Exo Sisters with Dimension Shifter? Why would why would Exo Sisters play with Dimension Shifter? I don't understand.
It's actually a pretty decent starting hand. All right, I really need a back row clear right now, right here, Lightning Storm. Let's go. Ooh, never lucky. Um, kind of screwed. Yikes! Yeah, I can't really. This one card. Kind of destroys my plans here. I think this is the best play. This will force him to activate it. Yeah. Yeah. I had nothing else. I got no spells or traps in my hand, which is ridiculous. I got nothing else. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I got nothing. I got nothing. This hand is too bad. It's so bad. I need spells and traps game. Oh my god, he's just gonna add another one! He's just gonna add another one! Oh no, he's playing this, okay. Yeah, I'm screwed. I think I just get OTK'd here, right? Yeah, there's probably nothing. Nothing I can do here. Unfortunate. But, ain't that Yu-Gi-Oh. Ain't that Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm never hitting plat. So sad. Oh. Hmm. Man, I really wish I had a Harpy's Feather Duster. I like an MST. <laughs> What I wouldn't give for a twin twister. Oh dang, he's going for the legendary egg Z's over two egg Z's. Crazy. Yeah, I just lose. That's fair. I do like ass. Wait, I don't die? I thought he could attack three times. Oh, huh. Hmm. So he just has a banish one card I control. When your opponent activates a card effect, you control next is your own. Yeah, this is um hmm. Not really much I can do. Just with two back row, which are probably gonna destroy me here. Yeah, that's fair enough. He doesn't know which one because they're both terrible. I mean probably this one, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I just lose. Nothing I could have done there. Fucking awful hand. Seriously, I think that's the first time I've like just had zero spells or traps. Like even if they weren't spells and traps I wanted, the first time I've like had zero. I'm playing like 20 spells and traps, right? Maybe not that much. Maybe like 15, maybe 10. I don't know. Unfortunate.
Yeah, it's sad because Exosisters are actually one of the... Oh, well, we aren't doing this... Oh, we are doing this to I think Exosisters are like one of the archetypes I can actually handle if I play right, but I was obviously not playing right. I mean, this is a great starting hand. I can go into like a triple. Um, please don't just give up before I can play. Please don't just give up before I can play. Please don't give up. Why does it not? It's my starting turn. Why does it even stop on the draw phase? That's what I want to know. Why does it even stop on the draw phase when it's my starting turn? I mean, unless he has a card he can activate, which I guess is possible. But I feel like it, he probably doesn't, right? He's just gonna, uh, he's just gonna time out. Man, at least let me play the game before you give up. I had a really fun starting hand too. Well, nothing you can do. At least I'll hit platinum. At least I'll hit platinum when this guy guy inevitably just ends his turn. Which will happen any day now. I played a card. Okay, now you could surrender. <laughs> now you could surrender. That's fine. Surrender now, please. Um, I could tin goldfish. I could I could do a lot of things here. I think I might not. Cause with predator plants, I can actually Okay, so I want to tin goldfish. I don't think I'm gonna strangle. I think I'm gonna tin goldfish thief temper wall and go into Heartland Draco because I have this card, and if I activate this card, he can't attack Heartland Draco. I think that's the play. I'm going to keep Raider after because I have this card and then I could go straight into uh, Starving Venom with Raider after. So that's the dream. Oh, it has to be a spell. Never mind. I should have done. Uh, I should have done the other guy. I should have done uh, Antitopian. I thought it was just any face-up spell or trap. No, it has to be spell specifically. Huh. Unfortunate. Always read your cards, kids, because I certainly won't. End phase. Okay, we're actually gaming. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Wait, is this saying he's gonna forfeit? What is it? What is this Japanese symbol or Chinese symbol or Korean symbol? I don't know. It looks like kanji though. Not kanji. Is it kanji? I forget which one they're called. Um, I then obviously it says to forfeit. I didn't even notice his name before. Well, let's go for it. I'm just gonna attack. Put him on that clock, you know. Next time we summon Prada Plant Serac Serankienta. The first time he's ever been normal summoned. Oh, the problem with Soul Drain too is that Serankientia Seren would not have activate. Right? But this card activates during the main phase, right? Or like during when it's destroyed. It doesn't activate. Does it activate in the graveyard or on the field? MST, what is this man doing? I don't know, but I don't actually have lethal because I just drew Battle Fader. <laughs> oh no. 
Well, let's see what else he's got. Watch him Fared Flames me. I would cry. I would cry if he had Fared Flames. I would just straight up cry. This man is just straight up not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This man just doesn't want to play. Which, I don't know how I feel about this. If I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I feel about this. Diabound. It's funny is that if I had Diabound last turn, I would have won. I should have tributed him for the uh, tribute summon points. All right. Well, that certainly was one of the duels of all time. Pretty sure that guy was like a forfeit bot, but something broke maybe. But we got platinum. You got to respect the platinum, you know? Lady Panther. Okay. I got to see where that guy was running. I got to see. I got to see. He's obviously a forfeit bot, but. What is this? Is this a structure deck or like a starter deck? Maybe he just drew a bunch of like spell cards. Like he had two MSDs. Maybe he had like two returnings and two sync blast waves. Maybe he literally had nothing. Huh? Well, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still going to pull it back. I'm still going to pull it back. I'm still pulling counts. As long as I play a single card, it counts. Dims the rules. Uh, if a card you control would be destroyed by opponent's battle. Wait. Card you control would be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. You could destroy this card instead of one of those cards. If a card your opponent controls would be destroyed by battle, you banish a card from the graveyard instead of one of those cards. Why would you ever use the second effect? I guess if it destroys itself, like if it, if it needs self-immolation to get its effect off, that would actually be pretty decent. I mean, it seems all right. I mean, it works with Heartland Draco. <laughs> it's actually pretty good for Heartland Draco. Oh, a Dark Lord card. A terrible one, but it is a Dark Lord. Another Drayton. Okay. I mean, this is a card for sure. This would let me normal summon Dia bound. <laughs> uh, this is, I'm going to use this in my, uh, Uzu, in my, my, uh, Daedalus deck, you know, my Daedalus deck, get it down to level five. Well, Umi's on the field. Oh, Yozenju, Yozenju, fun. Didn't I have thunder cards? Wasn't there like a semi thunder archetype that I had going for me? I had something to do with thunder cards. I think it was a link monster. I had a link monster that was like super heavy into like thunder cards. And Morphtronic Scannin. What a card. One day, one day, one day I'll get a good card. One day. Damn it, I don't even have any legacy bags. One day, I'll have good cards to add to my deck. I think I'm actually going to get rid of Diabound. I feel like this thing hasn't helped me at all. I want to try running one of those equip spells we got. I want to try running Vicious Claw. I don't know if it'll be good, but I want to try it. It sounds fun. Doesn't it sound fun? Doesn't it sound fun? All right, plat five is easier than gold one. As we all know, 
Plat 5 is like way easier than Gold 1. These guys all play like random decks. Ooh, when are they just going to let me stay in Plat? They're like, you hit Plat every single season so far. We're just going to just stay there, man. You've earned it. Like, yeah. Yeah, I did earn it. I did earn Platinum like 50 times now. I'm so sick of Platinum. I want to hit Legends, right, Jim? We're all sick of Platinum. Wait, what? How come, how come, how co wait, how come it allowed me to activate Kestria Ogre's effect one time during my own monster activation? That was so weird. Oh, whatever. Poor Jim, he's like, no, not cash tears. And then he sees you play Time Thief Wonder and he's like, what? He's like, what is this man doing? I mean, I might be playing a 47 card deck, but at least it's more normal than this crap. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, polymerization, yeah. I wish I had one of these. <laughs> I wish I had a polymerization, but they don't, I don't think that's even in Master Packs. I think they just expect you to use the ones they give you for free for doing like, what the? Oh no. It's the, <laughs> what is this? Unaffected by spells such trap effects. Dang it. Cannot activate their effects during battle phase. Dang it. All monsters you bring controls once each. It's good. Oh no. Oh no. Unaffected by spell and trap effects. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, he really just, he pulled out the goat. He pulled out the goat. I respect it. I'm not even mad. I'm flabbergasted. Like I'm not, I can't be mad about this. That's insane. It would be insane to be mad about this. But at the same time, I'm a little, I'm a little mad. <laughs> A little pissed. I'm not gonna lie. All right, he's got a piercing effect. Ooh, the goat. Wait, it's unaffected. No, but it's fine. This actually doesn't count as a, an effect, so I could actually use that. Is there any card in his graveyard? Um, this card attacks a defense which is up to twice per turn. When this monster card destroys an opponent, you can discard one machine. This card can yeah, This card is on the field. Is this show by go to card effect? You need one polymerization. Man, if only had a polymerization. Uh, okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna special summon this. This technically can't be destroyed by that card. And I'm gonna activate this just for the fun of it. I'm gonna not activate. I am gonna activate its effect actually. You know, heck it. Heck it. I got fared flames. I'm fine. I can't die. I can't die. Ferret Flames is too good. Technically, I'm pretty sure Ferret Flames breaks through these effects, right? Like every time I've seen a card that says unaffected by traps, Ferret Flames has affected them because it's technically not the trap affecting the card. It's the trap affecting my opponent because this game makes zero sense. Because <laughs> this game Makes zero sense. Yeah, okay. Cause this game <laughs> makes zero sense. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Send it. Yay! Yay! Oh man, if I only went to the graveyard, I could have stolen it. I could have stolen it. That would have been the dream. 
All right, what do we do here? Can't play that card, but you know what card we can play? We just do a little bit of this. Uh, thank you. Uh, damn it. Well, there goes my plan. What if I Ancient Gear Knight? What if I, what if I Gemini summon Ancient Gear Knight? No, that wouldn't be the play. What if I Gemini summon Ancient Gear Knight and this right here is like Mirror Force? I'm just gonna take this card anyways. Do I XZ summon here? I gotta XZ's. Or can I just kill this turn? No. Good old Trish. I actually don't need to really summon that other card, so we're just gonna go for it. If this is Mirror Force, I'm gonna be pissed. I will be so pissed if this is Mirror Force and I didn't just Gemini summon. Oh, it's just Sakuretsu. Okay, that's fine. If it was Mirror Force, I would have been pissed. Are you kidding me? Unfortunate. You know what I can do? Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Add this back to my hand. Special summon this. <laughs> Dude, I like these Time Thief cards. They're so fun. I should have played these more often. They're so fun! I love these time thieves. Alright, let's see if he's got any crazy good cards. Let's see if I have any card that can get over this 2k beat stick. <laughs> I do have Ring of Destruction, so that kind of gets over it. Let's see, what's my damage? I can currently do 5200 damage. 5,700 damage with this thing destroyed. Okay. That's fine. Changes nothing. Alright. Let's see what we draw. Ooh, actually great card here. Is this lethal? Two, four, six. It's not lethal. Or is it? It's not. I was thinking of activating this card's effect, but if I activate this card's effect, I can't actually attack with anyone else. So if I activated this card effect, I could have dumped Bezel, and then I could have pushed someone Bezel, or I could have dumped this, and I... So many things I could have done. What's he got? Draw your last pathetic card, Jim. That even is your real name. I should have actually not attacked with- I shouldn't have played Time Thief Adjuster. Because now I can't Ring of Destruction if he plays a card over 800 attack. Alright, if that's actually... Whatchamacallit? I'm gonna be real pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed. Alright, the play here is... this. Let's go! God, 
I can't believe he actually got that beautiful start. I just had to ruin his day. He got the best start. Just had to ruin his day. I actually kind of feel bad. Because that man was like, that's like his, that's like his dream. His, that's his dream start. Is to play that against a deck that can just instantly out it. On his first turn. Oh. Okay, but I got an ultra rare pack, so I'm not that mad, actually. It's fine. Oh, hey, my Crystal Beast deck looking up. My Light Sworn deck. Oh, ho. <gasps> my, my Exodia. Let's go. My left arm of the Forbidden One. You'll love to see it. Volcano Slicer. Pianissimo. What, what is this card? S Force or a Fist. Or a Fist. Oh, interesting. The monster when an enemy is if you banish one S Force card from your hand to show the monster. Oh, that's really cool. I would love these cards. A negate? That's awesome. I'm pretty sure I have none of them though. They're all cybers. Oh, some of them are psychic. Oh, machine spellcaster. Okay. Not all cybers, sadly. I love those. Those look really cool. And another Edlixer. I have no Eldlich monsters. I have no Eldlich, the Golden Lord. Well, he has a I didn't even know he had a fusion card. That's really cool. Alright. Final card, Shadow of the Six Samurai Shien. This is useless. <laughs> wow, this is useless. Ooh, this isn't even a good card. Like, in what world is this a good card? Like, at least the one that can attack twice can attack twice. Like, in what world were you like, yeah, I really need to make my Six Sam monster have 2,000 attack? Like, what? Like, what is the point of this card? It's an ultra rare, but it feels like it should be a rare. Dang it, I was so hyped for a second. I just... I just... I, and it needs specifically six Sam cards. I'm never going to play it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. At least we got left arm with the forbidden one to, like, slap some fools. Oh, that makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. Oh, here we go there. I'm about to get my third blue eyes and force myself to make that chaos dragon deck. Let's go. No. No. This is like one of the original cards, right? This is wild. Ooh, this is a really decent card. It's also a warrior card. So this is actually really decent for my Arcana Joker warrior deck. Hey, yo, yo, this is actually kind of slick for that deck. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take that card. I want three of those, actually. I want three. Yeah, none of these cards are, are worth it. Man, why you gotta suck Shadow of the Six Sam? Why you gotta suck so bad? Like, in what world is, like, that even a good effect? Why are you an ultra rare? <sighs> I have two great shoguns. That's their only... Oh my God. See, this card's an ultra rare. This is a really good card. This card is way... Like, this thing is garbage. Eh. I have three of this guy. I can't even make him. Man. Man. I do have my Exodia. Yeah, what if I get like an make an Exodia Necros deck? That'd be pretty hype. I don't think I have any. Yeah. If I had more of these, like that's a this is a really good card. Like, this seems like a really fun basic archetype where you don't, like, need the whole thing to have fun. Like, these just seem really fun. Like, really fun cards. 
but ah, oh, there's too many SRs. Like there, these probably don't need to be SRs. Master Duel really just loves increasing the rarity of cards that are like marginally decent, just to make you pay like extra stuff for them. Like there's so many cards that just have no right to being that high rarity. But Master Duel is like, if you want to make a fun deck, you gotta pony up the cash. Or your crafting materials or whatever they're called. You gotta pony up. Oh, the scapegoat. Respect. Respect, Arion. Alright. Ooh, actually really good hand for going second. I'll take it. I can even go straight into uh whatchamacallit if I need to. So that's really that this is a really good hand. I can even hold it in the back. What is that? Test Hudo Eret Newman? Is that a turtle? Do the play can special someone with 1800 attack or more? A joke's on you! I will just play Time Thief Winder. Dude, this is a freaking cool card. Also, I'm gonna get rid of that back row. Yeah, nice try. Ah, oh, the mirror I knew it! I knew it. I was like, I knew he's got a mirror force. I knew it in my in my heart of hearts. I, I kept saying mirror force. Every time there's a face down card, I'm like, it's a mirror force. It's a mirror force. This time it was. This time it was a mirror force. Oh my god, I love this man's deck. I already love this man. Two awesome cards. I love this little turtle, this Latin turtle. This man's speaking a dead language. This is awesome. I already, I'm already having so much fun. Alright, another face down. I guess we'll time thief adjuster here. Which is fine. Uh, we'll send that back. Pop it. Pop it. Lock it. Polka dot it. Country fire it. Hip hop it. Jump to the side. I I don't remember the rest of those weird lyrics. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I kind of want to go into Antitopian here though. Uh, maybe I should go into the other guy. Whatever. This is, either one would have been fine. Flip flop frog. Oh, huh. Except frog the jam, man. They always disrespect frog the jam. It's ridiculous. They always disrespect frog the jam. Why? Why? Why the hate? Why the hate for Frog the Jam? I'm telling you guys. So much disrespect for my boy. For my favorite card. This poor man, he's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. He doesn't understand what he's doing. Yeah, your bezel sheep. Bezel geese. This guy doesn't have a 2k defender, right? Ooh, he might. Uh, let's go with the safer option here. And banish a few cards. Ooh, Death Croaking Tadpole? Ooh! Two wet lions! Yo, this guy's playing the best deck. All right. I don't want to send Tadpoles. Ooh, um... I'm definitely getting rid of Trade Toad. I'm definitely getting rid of that thing. Oh no, it's the Tadpole! Ah, I should have attacked with Time Thief Adjuster. I guess I should, right? Now who has seven cards in their hand? Video game? No, who's allowed to have this many cards in their hand? Heh. Should I Thunder King his said monster? Go in the clam. 
Fusion summon. No. Yeah. No. Should I? Oh, I can even. T I could win this turn actually. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Could I? Could I? I could Kaiser Coliseum here. Summon Tiamaton. Go to Clam. Fusion. Grab this guy. No. Do I even? I do need to do that. Oh, okay. 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 Um. Oh, what is the play? What is the play? So I could. But I could summon. I could actually summon Starving here. So I don't need to team. Do I need to team a ton off off of that? Uh, so if I Kaiser here, summon Starving here, normal summon here. No, it doesn't matter because I won't be normal summoning another card. Uh, yes, I can't do that. Sadly. Is it worth it? So it'll, I'll hit him for 3,300 and then cashier will just kill him, right? Now hit him for 2,800. And then 36, 56. That'll just be kill, right? That'll just kill. That'll just kill. That'll just kill. I don't even need to team a ton. I just kill with that and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that tadpole out of here. Watch him have like a really bad hand trap for me. Oh, uh, go starving venom. Okay, we take his he, we take his life force. We suck him. Dr dry, dry. Hey, I'm not gonna say that actually. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna take that back. We hit him for 28, and then we just hit him for another 28. Easy game. Activate effect just in case. Uh, never disrespect the opponent. Always activate effect. It's a lot of wetlands. Uh, goodbye, Death Frog. Goodbye. Get out of here. Let's go. Your frog deck, man, was super cool. Super cool. Would have been an amazing start against anyone but me. Who has the jankiest deck alive. That would have been an amazing start. Just that no special summon card would have been so good against so many decks. <sighs> All right, I think that will be the last duel today, though. I want to go off on a bang, and that that duel was definitely <laughs> that freaking turtle card, man. That was really cool. Yeah, I'm going to end here on a win. We got the plat five. We got another Star Seraph Sovereignty. Uh, That's certainly a card. This is also certainly a card. This is also certainly a card. Is this a, it's like a link plant. Okay, that's really cool. Another light sworn card, which I totally have. Toll hike, which is very interesting. Ooh, ooh, generic. Can I be destroyed by a battle with a monster special someone from the graveyard? You can only use each of the following effects of Exosister cast but the ones per turn. If this card is Exosister someone using an Exosist monster, neither player can special someone from the graveyard. You can try to add one Exosister monster from your deck to your hand. I don't think I have any Exosister monsters. <gasps> ooh, yo, it's the original Phoenix Enforcer. No, it's not even the original. Oh, it's Shining Phoenix Enforcer. How many Phoenix Enforcers are there? Hello? How many Phoenix Enforcers? I have the other Phoenix, but there's like a normal Phoenix Enforcer? Yeah, okay, so there's a normal Phoenix Enforcer. And then there's also the good Phoenix Enforcer, which is probably around here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Um, there we go. Des Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Okay, well that's two of three. Two of three Phoenix Enforcers. I will collect them all. Um, I mean, this isn't the worst card. It, I mean, it's not terrible. 
ex- especially because it just has the effect where it cannot be destroyed by a monster special so special, but, but, cannot be destroyed by a monster special summon from the graveyard which is pretty decent in the fact that if i ever find a deck that is specifically special summoning monsters from the graveyard i could just special summon this card and put it in defense mode and it's just a wall it's also 2300 attack which is slightly more than my current uh Xyz monsters of 2000 at level four i might add this just for the fact that it's like decent it's also a warrior monster which is cool for my uh awesome warrior deck i'm also happy about this star seraph sovereignty this is also a pretty cool card if i can get some more star seraph cards that would be really good All right, no blue eyes. So sad. So sad. Where's my chaos dragons? Oh, but I got my gaga giga gaga gyo. My my gaga my gaga gigo. My gaga gigo. I prefer his older brother, Gagi Gigo Gagigo, the seven star twenty nine fifty. Hurricane. I do like Gaga Gigo. I mean, he is an eighteen fifty beater, which is like not terrible. Would have been decent early on in this series. Let me just check real quick. Do I have... Do I have Exo Sisters? I don't think I own... Yeah, I have none. Some of these are gettable. Like, two of them. A rare and a normal. The rest of these? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck. And... Oh, hey, there's another Ultra Rare. This is way better. This is way better for generic. Oh my god, I really wish I pulled Ossophil. This is insanely good. This would immediately boost itself to our best rank four. That's insane. You can detach one material from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls, return it to the hand. That would immediately be the best card we would own. I literally would Break every one of these cards. All of these cards. Garbage compared to that card. That generic rare level four. Oh man, why aren't you like your sister, Cas Patel? Add one Exo Sister from my deck to my hand? I don't own any. Oh man. Uh I should probably get rid of like this card though or something. I don't think I'm ever gonna summon Raid Raptors in this deck. Didn't I take out most Raid Raptors? I think I only have. I thought I had another one. I got rid of the other Raid Raptor, huh? I only have Raid Raptor, Napalm, and Strangle. Wait, I thought I had another one. Do I not have Vanishing? Oh, I don't even have that card. Or that card. I had this card. But I think I got rid of it because it just wasn't that good. Uh, yeah, no, I could just get rid of this card. And add this in. I mean, this is decent. If nothing else, 2300 can't be destroyed by monsters summoned from the graveyard. That's decent. That's decent. That already hits over all of our level fours that only take two. <laughs> oh, we have such terrible cards here. I mean, this isn't a terrible card. Really not a terrible card. Not a great card, but not terrible. Ah, oh, man, we're almost getting there. We just need some more. I mean, they're all low rarity. They're all low rarity. I could get all of them. I could get all of them. All my star seraphs. I want them all. What I wouldn't give to actually pull good cards. <laughs> All right, it's fine. All right, but I am going to end the stream here. There's another fun Yu-Gi-Oh masochism. I was a little out of it today because my throat really hurts. I don't know what's going on with me recently. I think I might be getting a little bit sick because my throat is kind of in pain right now. 
and I've been having kind of, I think it's because it, it whenever the weather changes, it went from, it went from literally eight degrees a few days ago to 32 degrees like yesterday. And now it's 62 degrees. I mean, whenever the weather changes so drastically, I always get sick. Like, that's the only time I ever get sick. I could be fine 99% of the year, but whenever the weather drops by 30 degrees, I get sick every time. Uh, and I think that happened to me today. I didn't even realize it was 62 degrees until I was like, why am I sick? And it's like, oh, the weather must have changed. And it did. It's warm as heck. Uh, but yeah, was another fun day anyways. We got some good wins. We hit platinum before the reset. So we're just going to hit gold again. We're just going to go back to gold. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm so tired of gold, man. I'm so tired of gold. They need to give us like three month series. Like I need a season that's longer than a month if they expect me to get anywhere anywhere to legend how do they expect people to play this game enough in a month to ever hit like master let alone diamond like who plays that much who's got the time uh it's like a full-time job out here anyway it was fun it's fun i really hope i get some like decent cards like, I know there's decent one-off cards we could at least get, but we're not getting, like, any of those. Should I do these free packs? Man. Kind of want to pull these free packs, but I'm not. I mean, I used to have, like, 20 right here, and I just didn't pull any of them. Now I have none. I only have two. Like, what is that? What am I, what am I poor? Poor on packs? No. But, yeah. It was fun. I'm going to end it here, though. Uh, I'm going to stream... Later on this week, I'm going to finish off Pal World because I'm level 50 now. I hit max level grinding and I'm going to do all the rest of the dungeons and I'm going to catch probably all the legendary monsters. And that'll probably be it for me for Pal World until like a next update because it's not really too much to do once you do that. As I learned today, I tried going to the freaking tree. The giant tree that they, they tell you at the start is like, oh, you have a dream. You you must go to the tree to do something. And then you can't actually, you can't actually go to the tree. You can't go there. It doesn't exist in the map. I mean, you could go like up to the tree, but the it's like blocked by an invisible wall. It's really unfortunate. Uh, so that's sad. That's sad, but it is what it is. I'll finish off Power World sometimes this week and I'll play some more Pokemon Masochism because we're actually doing way better in that one. I still need to catch a new Pokemon though, which I'll do probably after this stream, hopefully. But I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Have a great week. I'm dying. Uh, I feel like crap. But have a great week and have a great rest of the next month because it's almost February. I was going to say rest of this month, but that's literally only one more day. So have a great rest of your January and get ready for fuck, Valentine's Day. I think that's coming up in February. I don't know. I've never celebrated it. I'm single for life, baby. Not by choice. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.